Let me now turn to um, the governor from American Samoa, um, Governor Malga. Um, uh, you have five minutes, sir. Thank you. Talofan greeting from American Samoa. I want to thank you, uh, Vice Chair Saplang, distinguished members of the committee, for the opportunity to comment on the fiscal year 23 budget for the Office of Insular Affairs. I would like to also recognize our Congress Roman uh, High Chief Uifatali Redawagin for her work, not only for our territory, but all of uh, U.S. and our nation. We have learned much from fiscal year 22 and still faces enormous challenges as we plan for fiscal year 23. I would like to share with you some key important challenges facing American Samoa. But I would be remiss if I don't thank you all, especially the Secretary of uh, Interior, DOI, for the ongoing effort to improve the lives of uh, U.S. territories. I will start just like the uh, governor of Guam, the American Samoa Hospital, Lyndon Payne Johnson Medical Center, LPJ, as we call. Facility was built in 1968, lacks the fiscal capacity to appropriately respond to a host of medical conditions. LPJ is not uh, now diverting its limited operating resources to address the pandemic, causing the potential shortages of medication essentially health supplies, equipment, doctors, nurses, workforce, and overcrowded old hospital building. FEMA, in, in, uh, as usual, coming our support of uh, doing the COVID-19. In uh, 2019, the Department of Interior conducted an assessment LPJ facility and concluded that the hospital was not in compliance with the current seismic and weighing requirements and suggested that rather than repair or retrofit the current facility, construction of a new hospital would be more advantageous. The Army Corps of Engineers also conducted a review and determined that LPG facility is in a state of failure due to age and environmental exposure. Corps of Engineers noted that extensive repair or replacement of the facility is required to ensure compliance with hospital accreditations, standards, and to protect the life, health, and safety of staffs, patients, and visitors. LPG facilities also does not have the equipment or personnel to treat cancer, hip, knee replacements, heart, and other surgeries and maladies that afflict people of American Samoa. For those medical conditions, patients are flowing off island via medical transport to New Zealand for treatment. People of American Samoa need better access to care without flight to another country for life-saving procedures and care. The administration budget requests total 9.1 million for hospital operations, and we are thankful for the request funded, requested funded. However, we respectfully request a major increase in our operating revenues to help provide resources needed to respond to ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, at the same time continue to provide the care and treatment for critical medical conditions. And furthermore, skip pilar. LPJ, as, as was mentioned, uh, will need a lot of uh, monetary support to build the new hospital that we have already started. In order to control the spread of COVID-19, ASG shut down its borders in November of 2020. We were one of the few places in the world without any COVID-19 cases. But that status changed in September of 21 when we began to bring people back to the island. The first positive case was resident returning to American Samoa. Cases now total over 5,800 5, with the uh, 109 active cases and 30 reported deaths. ASG work with limited resources to build quarantine facilities and to retrofit its own hospital in preparation for COVID-19. Our vaccination efforts have reached more than 80% of our population and we continue our quarantine operations as we bring back more flights to our island. 
COVID-19 has reduced our local revenues because of declined domestic and international travel, leading to the closure of businesses and job loss. All of these factors make increased federal dollars more important than ever. Good news is, however, Shipyard has uh, done a lot of improvement and a lot of support from DOI. Uh, shipyard now can do cutters or hire of the U.S. Coast Guard. One of the key important uh, aspects of uh, Islanders, U.S. territories, is the climate change. Natural disasters have become more prevalent in the Pacific region, and we have experienced damages to our critical infrastructures as a result of sea level rise, severe flood, coastal erosion, and landslides are part of our problems in American Samoa and very sure all the territories. American Samoa is exceptionally vulnerable to the sea level rise because significant portion of the islands, villages, and infrastructure, including all critical ports, are located along strips of the coastal land. Situation worsened by ongoing subsistence since the 2009 earthquake. Tsunami resulting in shifting of tectonic plates. American Samoa is subsiding at a rate roughly six times the global sea level rise average and experiencing a relative sea rise of 9.8 inches in 11 years from September 2009 to January 2020. We need to respond to climate change with a matter of urgency by investing in mitigation projects that will reduce the risk of damages to existing infrastructure, ensure community resilience in the aftermath of all hazard disasters. Untimely events of extreme weather and disasters are unavoidable and expensive. The rebuild is time consuming, especially with limited readily available resources and project related subject matter expertise on the island. Now withstanding our mutual interest in the benefit of the US, American Samoa remains a disadvantaged and underserved population. We believe this is due to our remoteness and our small voice by purpose. Here as a governor can of we, the territory. Can we, close, can we get to close this, Governor, please? Yeah, two and a half minutes over, but go ahead. Please close it uh, when you respectfully, yeah, thank you. In closing, as I mentioned, um, with the uh, those are the issues that I now, I now have in American Samoa, and I will uh, submit our full report on, on, on paper uh, for, uh, for the committee to review. Much, as I mentioned, uh, the key areas are climate change, hospital, and of course the presence of the Chinese in the Pacific are the three critical issues that American Samoa are addressing here. I know I'm out of time, and I thank you, uh, Mr. Saplan, and the committee uh, for the opportunity to address uh, fiscal year 23 budget review uh, this morning. Thank yeah, you very th much. Thank you. Thank you, Governor Walga. Thank you very much. Uh, 